السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to our last segment with the Chef Yusuf show where we learn to cook the Islamic way Today's topic is about Al-Farid or soup, broth Today we made stock And you know every every episode inshallah I'm gonna go ahead and cover what Ibn Al-Qayyim uh, Al-Jawzi mentioned in this book This is a chapter of a very large book called Zad Al-Ma'ad Fi Khayri Hadi Al-Ibad so there is a chapter in that book called the medicine of the prophet so they extracted that chapter and they made a book out of it uh, this is the english translation by imam by jalal abdul rabb uh, so this is an edition that i will be reading from okay so let's go ahead and open the chapter where it talks about al farid or he translated as or the translator mentioned it as broth meat So broth meat is a dish souped with thread. So the soup has a you know a neutral nutritional value. It's easy to digest and it's really tasty. And this is one of the things that the scholar talked about why the prophet really loved uh, al farid. It, they say because it's easy to swallow. It's really quickly to prepare. It doesn't take time and it's very economical. It's on the go, so you really can survive. You know eating ramen noodles which is like 10 cents or 20 cents uh, you know that's that's a, a strategy to survive right so it, it doesn't take time and it's like on the go and it's really very convenient for especially for people who are very really busy and leader and shows you like you know today's leadership and how you know how they're wasteful in food and how the prophet sallallahu is teaching us that this simple and humble food was his food although he was the king okay let's go back to the book now I'm going to show you parts of the book. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I want you to buy it yourself and read it yourself. But I'll point out some of the things that he mentioned. He did mention, of course, the the Prophet, uh, the Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu He narrates the Hadith by Aisha. May Allah be pleased with her. That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, um, mentioned that when somebody fell ill in the house of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he kept a pot of soup on fire until the patient passed uh, through one or two confines, meaning like he either recovered or he passed away so when he learned about someone illness he immediately replied give them broth or give them soup or give them thread uh, for it washes the patient's stomach clean just as one washes her face of dirt so from this the, the imam al qayyim he extract that uh, you know broth you know it agrees with the digestive system it help accelerate and it penetrate the nutritional in the body in the human system it uh, it maintains the bowel regularly it's good for the digestive system it's easy to swallow easy to eat you know it protects from the stomach lining the prophet ﷺ also said that the meat broth it cheers the innermost heart it lessens the patient's sorrow um, and it grieves cool humor he, what he's talking about is antidepressants like making if somebody is depressant or is depressed it uh, it fights against depression right and this is uh, a lot of the times we uh, the, the imam mentions uh, sorrow or, or humor. He talks about the, the effect of depression on the body. So going further. So he mentioned, you know, if somebody has problem with the stomach, it helps wash off unnecessary accumulations and it soothes the body. It breaks the tension. It balances the humor again, antidepressant. It raises the spirit. He's talking about feeling down, also with the antidepressant, and it help regains one health. So this is a part of this book, Healing with the Medicine of the Prophet. You can go ahead and uh, you know read it yourself. I just gave some glimpses, and as always, we will always end with a hadith from Riyad al-Salihin. This is by Imam al-Nawawi. This is an Arabic version. I'll be reading from the tablet from the English. But what we we'll want to give is we want to give one of the virtues of Ramadan. Uh, there is a book or a chapter called Kitab al-Fada'il. Not Fada'il al-A'mal. Kitab al-Fada'il from Riyadh al-Salihin. Okay? So there is a chapter and, and it talks about the, the Fada'il, the virtues of the actions or the, or the worship that we do. And we chose, you know, every episode we will give one virtue of fasting since we are in the month of Ramadan to keep the theme of Ramadan going. On the authority of Talha ibn Ubaidullah, may Allah be pleased with him, he reported that at the sight of the new moon or the croissant moon, the Prophet وسلم, used to supplicate, he used to make dua, which translates to, Allahumma 
let this moon appear on us with security and iman and safety and islam O moon your rub and my rub is allah may this moon bring guidance and good this hadith is narrated by imam tirmidhi may allah be pleased with him and from the book of riyadh salihin by imam nawawi i do encourage every muslim to have this book in their household with the quran of course unfortunately we're out of time but we do thank you for watching and listening. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.